good morning it is just gone 2 a.m and we're up i haven't got dressed yet um griffin's up apologies if the sound is going to be bad in this video i do not have my vlog kit it is packed um and i can't i can't deal with getting it in and out of my bag and, and everything today so what are we doing i'm gonna finish from my last video just going to pop a bit more moisturiser on. I'm going to keep my headband on because my skull is a little bit sore. Um, again, just had my hair cut, so it tends to hurt a little bit when I sleep. But my hair is also a mess. So I did wash it last night, but I'll, I'll wet the top of it down again. But here on my head it does get a little sore. So keeping it warm with these bands is really helping. We have a puss cat. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Mm, you having a good day? Are you having a good day? You are. Can I have kisses? Bebe, can I have kisses? No, she doesn't want to give me kisses today. It's too early for her. She was in the middle of a very big nap when we woke up. So, uh, yeah, first step, just pop on some moisturiser. Then I'm going to go to the bathroom, clean my teeth, usual bits, and then we'll get dressed. I don't know how well you can see, but this is the... You can't see a thing. Who am I kidding? Uh, so, we have just lightweight cargo joggers um tights because i don't wear compression socks on flights i can't wear them they they hurt my legs uh what else vest top wrap top and my hoodie and i've gone with a hat because it is raining this morning so i thought a hat would look better and yeah that's it let's go and finish packing the last of the bits quick hack if you can hear me sorry with griffin's clearing up while i'm i'm doing things quick hack i don't know if i mentioned this in my video yes wouldn't have been yet it was yesterday to me it's not yesterday to you um any diabetics out there please excuse the light the lighting in here is not film lighting any diabetics out there traveling who don't want to fork out 100 pounds for a cooling system for your insulin use a thermal coffee pot with your travel ice packs from your travel case that you can get on amazon for about excuse me for the dodgy angle 11.99 they're those little thin ones so i've got a travel case for my insulin uh it is this one and the packs fit in that However, it doesn't keep my insulin cold. So that has been in the freezer for two days with ice packs and should stay cold on the inside for 17 hours. Now, our flight is just under three hours. Our room won't be ready until nine hours time ish, nine, ten hours. So I think we'll be good. So let me pack that and we'll be back with you. So there we go. I've taken one of the ice packs out because I've put it in my travel case with my open insulin because I will need to take that in three hours well, just before we board because I don't want to take my drugs on the plane um, just because people stare. They'll try to think I'm doing something dodgy. So last time when we flew, we were on the same time flight. We got a whingy cat. Uh, yeah, we're on the same time flight, so we're just going to do what we did before. But there you go. I have six pens plus a spare. And technically, I should only need five of them. I take one in case one explodes and one for a spare in case it doesn't work. And that is more than enough. I could take more, but I've still got plenty in my existing insulin to last me the next couple of days anyway. So there's no point taking another one. I have enough for, I think, 12 no, 16 or 17 days and we're only over there for 11. So I'm well prepared. 
so that's i'll see how this works i mean they may they may have an issue with it but i don't have any other way of keeping it cold at the moment so if it works i will let you know when i get through security and uh it could be a cheap hack so for anyone who's asking this is the contigo i got this in tesco's for anyone in the uk they're quite a well-known brand you can get them online they're about 20 to 25 pounds and this is the flask cylinder so the cup piece is very well hidden i have put hot drinks in this and they've lasted 17 18 hours um so we're going to give it a test with cold although it does keep cold water very cool as well we'll see i mean they're going to scan it it's metal it will go through the scanner what they're going to do i've got to keep my my meds cold so we are about ready to just put some boots on, coats on. Yeah, sorry, the griffin's not going to be in this one very much this morning. He's very tired, but we'll we'll try and get him when <sighs> that's him yawning. He's had about an hour's sleep, so he does read when we go to bed. I don't, I just pass out or at least try to. So he read for a bit, went to sleep, and then the cats woke him up. It's one of those things, but he can sleep in the car. Unfortunately, it's not something I can do because I have to drive. So we're going to, yeah, open the curtains. Mm -hmm. Sorry, instructions. Um, I've left the blind halfway upstairs. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry for the kitchen light there that's blinding everybody. We're going to pack up the last of the bits. Quick double check that I've got everything last minute. Chair, battery and charger. Chair, battery and charger. You might have to carry the charger. I've got no space. And get on our way to the airport. So, come travel to Spain with us. And in typical British fashion, it's raining. So, just putting hand luggage in. And, oh, I can take the hoodie, don't I? And we are going to head off, hopefully, to a lot better weather. And you probably can't even hear me anyway. So, I'll see you in a minute. same guys to fix it that fixed it last time but currently I'm stuck it's a great way to start a holiday we've made it to the resort I'm hoping you can hear me um, we've made it to the resort um, yeah it's gonna be fun I need to get my chair fixed tomorrow but let me just quickly turn you around you can see a griffin getting changed me changing. But as you can see we have beautiful beautiful blue skies 
and yeah, it's going to be it's a very short one because um, we got so rushed through the airport. We were there just as check-in opened, and it was busy. We went to special assistance, probably waited 15 minutes there to be registered, and then it was security, and then they were calling me to get board board the plane. I mean, I don't know where two hours went. Um, the flight was good. There was no no bad bits about the flight. It was really good. So I managed to get some shots out the window. Even though I was sat in an aisle. It was busy. The lad in front of us was having his birthday. So that was fun. Um, yeah, we've met some really lovely people. Um, the, the guy at the airport was absolutely fabulous with me, with making sure that I got to a taxi and sorted everything out. Um, helped with all the luggage and my chair and everything else and we're at the resort and everyone's been good here and I can go to the guys who fixed my chair last time to get it fixed so hoping I'm not going to get copyright allowance for the music in the background I can't help it, it's playing in the restaurant but I'm talking over it so hopefully it won't get in trouble um, but I'm going to leave it there, sorry it's only been a short video um, but the next one I think think is a room tour coming up so watch out for that all right we're gonna get some food and we will see you later and as always love you all